Yeah, man, it's your boy DJ Platinum. So you can see by the title, it says, Everyone is a DJ. What do I mean by that? Anyone could play music and call themselves a DJ. Just like anyone could just play for some local down the road community football team and call themselves a footballer. Anyone could put videos of themselves singing right here on YouTube or on other social media platforms or enter into Britain's Got Talent or X Factor and call themselves a singer. So yeah, everyone's a DJ. But not really, not really. Yeah. A real DJ knows how to please a crowd, knows how to read a crowd, yeah? A real DJ knows real tune selection, yeah? So anyone could run about and call themselves a DJ. And I guess it's easier nowadays as well, because back in the day, in the vinyl days, yeah? Like, so I grew up in the vinyl days and especially so... I was mainly getting booked for UK Garage um, raves, but also I've always been into my dancehall. So even where I wasn't really getting much bookings where I was doing dancehall sets, I was always up to date with the music. And both UK Garage and um, dancehall, when you're deep into the underground, you're not gonna get, well, I, I mean, in general with vinyl, it was like you had to be in a record shop at the period where the tune comes out. Otherwise, you missed the tune, so you had to go. To, you had to go to the record shop at least once, at least once a week, to make sure that you got all the um, um, all the latest tunes and make sure you don't miss the hot tune that come out, the hot underground tune. You know, I remember purchasing records, and I was purchasing hip hop and R and B and that as well, and some big tunes from back in the day that you might miss might come out on a repress or something. But apart from that, you had to you had to make sure. He was there. So, yeah, it was more difficult back in the day to be a DJ. And, you know, to get the proper turntables, Technics 1210s, or, I mean, that's what most that's what most people, that's what was in most of the clubs. Um, that's what I eventually bought after I, bought, after I got rid of my shit plastic <laughs> decks when I first start, um, when I first bought my first pair of decks with a little bit of money I had. So, everyone had 1210s and Technics 1200s, and they weren't cheap, um, especially when you was my age and you know, scraping money together. And yeah, so it was it was tough being a DJ. You had to be man of being in a record shop for hours on a Saturday and all that. Nowadays, you could just buy tunes off iTunes or whatever other platforms. Some people do illegal downloads on YouTube, or whatever YouTube converter things or whatever they're called. And, you know, people are plugging in phones and there's all these little apps and there's the sync button now on these controllers. It's 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 easier to it's easier to do, and I mean technology evolves, but yeah. So that's it. I just wanted to touch on that little subject there. Um, comment below what you think about what I just discussed. So everyone's a DJ, but not really.